If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Paper Boy! Boy! Welcome everybody to Let's Play, a podcast in which we discuss various games of the video variety. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Con, and joining us as usual, Sorg. Sorg, what'd you play this week? I played this purple Christmas tree. What? Yeah, Call of Duty Ghosts as natural and a couple uh, odds and ends on my phone as well. Some TNA impact. Shut up. All right, uh, you played that again? Yeah, yeah, I, I did. I did. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, Riz also joining us. What did you play this week? I'm starting to get better at Call of Duty Ghosts or yeah, Ghosts. Um, I still don't like it as much. Sorry, Sorg. No, I don't. Uh, but, I'm with you. Although I'm starting to figure it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to advance myself in the realm of Call of Duty, but it's still not impressive for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've also beaten another game. What's that? Bobby. I, hey, I got an update. Bobby. What'd I you beat, beat? I beat uh, Assassin's Creed 4. Nice. And... As we speak, the credits are still rolling, and I beat it a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I yes. felt during Grand Theft yes. Auto V. <laughs> I, they, they have two scenes. First of all, they I think they cut two scenes, and then they played the credits again. And there was one part while going through the credits that the music... Stopped. Did you play anything else? It just kept rolling. I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't know if it was my game. I don't know if it was just like them messing with you. Uh, but I did not see if there was anything at the end because um, it was at like one o'clock in the morning. Oh, late. So I uh, stopped it. Twenty minutes <laughs> into it. Uh, but the surprises, they there were there were a few. <clears throat> Some were, you know, expected. Chachi, you can you test to that. No yeah. spoilers. Spoiler free. And <clears throat> I'm I'm not gonna spoil anything. Um, but the one person in the game at the end credits has a gigantic head for a kid. That's not a spoiler. No, 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 no it's not I, really I'm a putting, spoiler. I'm putting a stop to that is... right now. It's not a spoiler. It's a known no, it's not fact a spoiler. It's, that it's, the pirate it's... in Assassin's Creed 4 is the father to uh, the first character you get to play in Assassin's Creed 3. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the it's last the name. Temple. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but the kid who turns out to be the Templar has one gigantic head. And very right, did you play anything else? As well. Um, and there was just this weird look, like of. Uh, Riz, did you play anything else? So much graphics <laughs> to make him <laughs> look like it. He is so into this. <laughs> this is amazing. Riz, did you play anything else? <laughs> Riz, Riz no. keeps talking about Assassin's Creed 4, and I Bobby's know. trying to get him to move on, <laughs> and I Riz know. just ignores it and keeps going. I, I love what it. But the head was Listen so big. That's why I'm Chachi, did you play it. anything this week? Uh, you play? I played. Um, I played the challenge. Okay. Um, and yes, it holds up. Um, I played Super Mario Brothers 3. I played Ghost. Um, in fact, with the exception of Bobby, when the squad got together on Friday, we actually played really well. Oh, yeah. Did. Hey, I didn't play that bad, did I? I haven't played in a while, though. We no, actually it was after you team. came. Uh, oh, oh. Or wait, no. No, no, it was... Okay, we no, played he was around. well. Never mind. I, I, I thought around. it was fuzzy. Never mind. I'm getting my it numbers screwed up. No, um, yeah, we didn't yeah, we play that bad. We weren't doing too bad. No. No. I, was, then, um, I wasn't there last Saturday. Maybe that's when. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Um, and then what else do I play? I'm playing baseball right now. Um, An act, the actual baseball? game of baseball? The, like I'm playing outside? baseball. NES baseball. <laughs> Oh, okay. Baseball. Okay. Um, and I'm getting crushed. It's uh, The Wise are beating me 11 to 1. 
in the bottom of the fourth. <laughs> well, I yeah I, the wise. Yeah, the wise. Wow. I I've never bothered to look up what the the letters stand for as far as teams go. <laughs> so, it's just it's the wise beating the A's eleven to one. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Um, I played Doctor Who Legacy. I want to play that when I get my uh, new tablet set up, which came um, in the mail today. Mm-hmm. It's not a bad game. It, it's a it's a puzzle game. I, I didn't like it on I, the iPhone. I, I uh, well, hmm. and I didn't try it on the tablet yet. Well, yeah, because you don't like you don't like like Candy Crush type games. And that's uh, what it is. Actually, I've been painfully addicted to that Marvel one. <laughs> oh, okay, but um, and I played Diner Dash, and that's it. Oh, can cool. I amend mine? I f- I remember yeah, some ahead. things. Um, I installed Ingress because it's public now. Chachi. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. I'm gonna... I, I stopped. I stopped using it because it takes up too much room on my phone. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a battery killer, uh, but there's a couple places around my neighborhood I want to go around to. Uh, Ingress is like this: you walk around and find portals, kind of thing. Go look it up. Ingress. It's on Android devices. Uh, I think it's a Google project actually. Uh, and I did also play uh, that uh, both those Doctor Who games we talked about last week. Um, I kind of like the top-down one, the uh, the uh, puzzles of whatever or something. Uh, again, I, I wasn't too into uh, the Doctor Who one. The, oh, I remember another game. One. If I may amend mine. Go ahead. As long as it's not about Assassin's Creed, you're Bobby, good. Bobby, what did you play? <laughs> <laughs> no, Go ahead, but, Riz. Um, you... don't, don't pick up Anchorman 2's Scotchy Scotch Toss. <laughs> oh, no. It's Is horrible. it bad? <laughs> all right i played yeah, avengers all... alliance again uh and super mario brothers 2 and i finally beat grand theft auto 5 yeah. it took me a while but i finally beat it um i i, I, I like the ending um i'm not gonna spoil anything um but i did like the touch after the credits of the paper from your psychiatrist yeah that, that was pretty cool so and and then and the mission that starts after you finish is hilarious too. So the Trevor one? Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Um and I and, and I, I I didn't play the challenge this week, but I played it enough to know what it's about. Mm-hmm. Um you guys said you played the what challenge is it about? too. Yeah, did Chachi too. did. Um yep. Paperboy is a game where you throw papers at things and mailboxes and, and people and death and at the end they have a um obstacle course set up for you which makes no sense at all <laughs> but yeah it's yeah. like chachi says it still does hold up. Sweep. It, it, did everybody play the nes version right yes yeah. mm-hmm. okay so again never played the nes version i played the in the ar- arcade and i played again about paper paperboy 2 like for dos and i really i really enjoyed it um wow this was rough on the nes for me did anybody buy the two hundred ninety nine dollar one <laughs> on Amazon? That's the real. Oh, question. I have it coming tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. That wasn't even I, in the I, box. I, I contacted the seller and he said that it's platinum. It's uh, platinum encrusted with gold and diamonds. Oh, okay. So that's why that it might was be worth it then. so much. So it, it it's it's a hundred dollars, pretty much. Does it have a gold <laughs> iPhone inside of the case? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, okay. but he said that if you can get the case open, it'll play the uh, the hidden object noise from The Legend of Zelda. No, you know, there's no... It is like a different game. There, is there really another game like it? No. Because, I no. mean, it, it was yeah. kind of its own concept. I don't feel like anybody really successfully or even maybe even tried to, to mimic it, you know? Um, it they was... even tried remaking it into an N64 game. Yeah, I just saw there's an N64 <laughs> version of this. It's horrible. Is it? It's horrible. It was called Superman 64. <laughs> <laughs> Clark uh, did work for a paper just, company. <laughs> there's just some game concepts that you don't touch. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's absolutely no reason to because it's never going to get any better. Yeah, I feel the same way about Super Off-Road. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super off road, never gonna get any better. Oh, you're gonna make um, this a, a, a third person driver game? That I'm not even interested in that. I want the right. tire screen, there's the track, the cars react in this weird bouncy way. Boom. Yes. Super sprint. Road rage. Road rage. Super yeah. sprints really really good like that too. Yeah. But so. um it, it, yeah, stuff like uh Paperboy, R C Pro Am, 
uh, super off road, mm-hmm. never mm-hmm. gonna get any better than they did. Mm-hmm. So don't touch them, or else just die in a fire. Just keep right. putting them out in collections of the best version available, and we're happy. Yeah, exactly. Don't oh. touch the graphics because that yep. what that's what makes the I game. I always felt yeah. a little weird about that Gauntlet game we were playing on on PlayStation Two that Missy got addicted to. Right, it wasn't the same game. Play. No, I mean... Um, it wasn't a bad game. I mean, I, you could tell the spirit was there, but I didn't like what they added to bring it to the next generation. If you right. would have just gave me the same top-down experience, but it was just 3D characters, kind of like um, like when they mostly started doing Mortal Kombat. Uh, well, even Mortal Kombat now still feels like the old Mortal Kombat, mm-hmm. just bigger, and same with Street Fighter. Um, they, they decide, oh, the 3D doesn't work. This is better once the 2D plane, but we'll just make the characters look badass. Um, completely down with that idea. Sorry, cool. Bobby? All right, um, we're going to move on to our things that you should be made aware of. Um, a couple new releases this week, so we're going to touch on it real quick. Uh, Peggle 2 come out for the Xbox One. Why is Peggle 2 on Xbox One? I don't know. The, uh, the um, graphics in Assassin's Creed 4 are pretty pretty <laughs> amazing. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Sorry, Bobby. I had Peggle... To... Peggle Throw just it, I, it could have been on anything, but I, I I mean it's smart for micro for Microsoft to launch it with Peggle too because that's one of those casual games that like people want to play. Yep, it, it's gonna but, be the first one. It's like oh now I got Peggle like 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 just like I have Angry Birds on every platform I can possibly yeah. get it on. Uh, uh, there's people that have Peggle on every platform they can possibly get it on. Have Candy Crush on every platform mm-hmm. they can possibly get it on. Um, and I think I think uh, Peggle Two is only available on Xbox One right now. Mm-hmm. Ooh, for now, exclusive. So. And um, also out this week, uh, let's sing for PC. Why not? Um, Sorcery Saga: Curse of the Great Curry God for the PS Vita. What? And, it's very spicy. Yeah, and your your Europa Universalis for Conquest of Paradise for the PC. Never heard of it. How did they get four out of that? <laughs> Europa is a good game. I thought. Is it? Okay. I've never heard strategy of it. guys, so. strategy games, I think. Yeah, that's its own oh, genre. that's why I've never heard of it. I'm not really a fan of strategy that's games. That's like a civilization type game or something, mm. right? To each their own. Okay. Okay. Um, and we're gonna touch on a, a couple news stories real quick here. Um, they announced that a Family Guy, um, Sim- Simpsons tapped out type game is coming out for Android. Of course. Okay. Um, Makes sense. They they released the first teaser image, Sorg. I think I have it in the chat there. There it is, right there. Oh, wait, is this not um, it? Not not really a screenshot, but Peter Griffin sitting on the toilet playing the game, <laughs> which I thought was kind of good for for marketing for Family Guy. It fits. It fits. <laughs> All right, and um, the other one is Grand Theft Auto is going to have a new storyline DLC coming next year. Um, they said it should be uh, from what they hint- hinted at. Uh, they mentioned Michael, Trevor, and and, uh, f- and uh, Franklin. Franklin. Um, they, they mentioned all three of them, so it, it might be a continuation of their story. Mm-hmm. Um, I was kind of hoping for new characters, but um, if we go back to those three, that's fine too because you know they you know, were awesome. Um, uh, on GTA front, uh, 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 brother Sorg, Matt, he, 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 I saw him talking about this on Twitter earlier today, but he's re- mm-hmm. reiter- reiterating it here in the in the chat room. Uh, he hopped on GTA today and tried out the content creator, made a race that goes around oh. the whole island. Side notes, it takes about 10, eight, 8 to 10 minutes to circle the whole thing on the highways. Nice. So that's that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah and, and there's um, new content coming to online pretty soon, too. Nice. Um, they said that uh, Deathmatch and Race Creators uh, are, are coming soon. Um, probably, to, well, I guess if, if your brother had it, maybe they're out now. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess it's like a beta, so... We'll see how that goes. That whole hey, you know where it's not going? Hmm. What? Do you see? Where? Yeah, not yet. Or ever, maybe. But, um, still, yeah, and, and they also I'm still said waiting that they're on, going... I'm still waiting on 4 to come to Mac. <laughs> <laughs> but they also said that they're going to release... Uh, finally, you're going to be able to plan heists with uh, your crew members next year. Um, they promised that right out of the bat, but... I guess they were having problems, so they didn't want to do that until they have everything figured out. So we'll see. All right, and we're going to go with our awards portion of the show. Um, the first category is best mobile game. 
So, Chachi, what's your pick, pick for best mobile game this year? That could be uh, any, anything like uh, iOS, Android, Facebook, anything like that. Uh, this year? This year. Huh. I don't know, honestly. Um, I, I don't play many mobile games to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, I have a select few that I actually play, but it, it's nothing that's come out very often. Uh, so by default, I would have to say oh, it uh, Plants vs. Zombies 2. It doesn't have too. to come out this year, I guess, for mobile games. <clears throat> so Plants vs. Zombies? Yeah, that, yeah. Pl Plants vs. Zombies 2 is probably the best one. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it's it, it's different. It's not Candy Crush. It's not Avengers Alliance. It's not something that relies on um, you begging and pleading your friends to give you stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Sir, what was your choice? Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I think I'm mostly going to second the Plants vs. Zombies because I realize, you know, again, I look at my phone and I have a lot of just kind of re-releases um, but the other thing, and I can't, I, other than that, the thing that's taken most of my time, uh, that is along that kind of line, that kind of expands it, I've been really enjoying Angry Birds Friends. Oh, sorry, sleeper robot on the bobby. Um, oh, no. <laughs> but no, I've been really enjoying Angry Birds Friends. Um, I like, I like the idea, uh, you know, some of these games that connect via Facebook, and they're, and, and they're not, there's a shop it does you don't need to you know what i mean it, 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 you have new levels every week and it's interactive and it's pretty cool i, I unfortunately i've not been able to hop on uh any of the new games i haven't hopped on the new infinity blade because i'm still on the first one never beat it uh stuff like that uh and again it's just mostly old school games for me i, I did get a kick out of injustice but i don't think that that was a great game it was a good kind of replacement for not getting it for the consoles cool uh riz what'd you pick for game mobile game of the year um, this was a hard choice. Um, there was one game that I picked up called uh, Hard Time. We'll be serving time. That's not what I'm gonna pick because that was pretty <laughs> crappy. Uh, I wanna I wanna see if Sorg actually looks that up. Okay. He Google's it. I'm in the, the process. In the process. Just Google Hard Time, Sorg. Yes. No. And um, prison slip. Prison sim. But for wait, hmm? is this it? I, let me see. Is it the one where is it, is, are there people walking around? Yeah, the walking around. You're in an orange jumpsuit. The yes. Oh yeah. My. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Look um, up Prison oh, Tycoon. I, there hard, was a game called Prison Tycoon. Look up Hard Time uh, Android, and you'll you'll come across this if you're on. Yeah, Android. I played um, that but, game for. But to answer the question, uh, there's this game out now. I keep on trying to get every single one of you to play. So far. I believe Bobby and a uh, friend of the show, Mad Mike, um, are the only two who have taken me up on this challenge. Okay. But Movie Pop oh, that's, that's, that's is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's better than Song Pop. That was my Movie Pop going off. Uh, uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, go... Go download that game and see for yourself. Cool. It's amazing. Downloading now. I, I right. played it for like an hour and got bored with it. Really? Got bored with your face. Were you in the song pop though? No, not really. Mm -hmm. I played that for yeah. like an hour and got bored with it too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I think it's that kind of a game that like that's the thing that uh, you know if you if you don't like those kind of like pop quiz games, I guess not really your cup of tea. And also, um, I've been like, I, it's been out for like a few years, mm -hmm. but I'm still having fun with words with friends. I noticed, I, I yeah, I did notice Missy's been playing that a lot again lately. Yeah, that's one of the ones that dropped. I've been beating her pretty good too. <laughs> just, just pointing that out there. It's on tape. Um, my pick for for game for mobile game of the year, I'm gonna go with Simpsons Tapped Out. Um, just for the fact that I played that game a lot when it worked on my phone. Um, and I'm gonna install it on my I, my tablet. Hopefully that'll like work for my tablet. Um, it's a really fun game when when it when it actually works. Mm. Um, and I, I had a lot of fun with that. I also had a lot of fun with Marvel Marvel's Avengers Alliance, but that's an older game. But yeah, I, I invested way too much time in that game. <laughs> so, and you guys all give me shit for that anyway. So, uh -huh. all right. 
Um, and our next category is the best new IP, original IP. Um, that means a game that's brand new this year. No other franchises or anything like that. Uh, Sorg, what do you think for best new IP this year? Best new IP? Uh, mm-hmm. oh, wow. Can't, I, I want to say Watch Dogs, but it didn't come out. <laughs> yeah, it didn't come out yet. <laughs> I mean, and we don't know, so so I can't really get into that. I know I didn't... Uh, run it through my head. I don't think... Come back to me. Come back to me. Because I, I, I okay. don't think I've played anything with a lot of new IP. Riz, Riz do you have one? I I haven't like Sorg, I haven't played many that have We all stick I've to played the same many stuff. games that have threes and twos and fours in front of them or behind them. Mm-hmm. It's not like I've been playing all IPs all the time. Yeah. Uh, but um there is one downloadable game on uh Xbox Live that it, that I really like to play. Um mentioned it on the show. I even wrote a story about it on insertcoinbegin.com. Um, the, Wolf, the Wolf Among Us is a pretty good game to play. Oh, that's good. The, uh, Telltale's doing some wonderful things. They're, they have, they're doing some more stuff, too. If you, yeah. if you watched uh, VGX, and by the sound of it, nobody has. Um, but they're coming out with another episode of that. They're also coming out with games of Game of Thrones, um, but Wolf Among Us from a guy who hasn't read the comics, who hasn't really delved into the world of Fable, I believe it's called uh, Fables. Um, it's a really good IP that I've personally enjoyed. Uh, mm-hmm. Now this is how in depth my thing is. The other name on there is Deadpool. So. Nice. It's not really original IP, though. Well, it, it, to video games it is, I guess. Or to to yes. video games. I, I would say it's a new IP. Mm-hmm. So, um, and, and if you haven't heard, Telltale's coming out with a uh, Game of Thrones game, and they're also coming out with a uh, Borderlands game. So look for those next year. Um, my p- oh, so do you have – or Chachi, you have one? Uh, I think the only original IP I played was uh, Arcade Craft. Oh, okay, that's a good one. Um, it wasn't a good year for original IP. No, no, I, I, um, I, I, the games that came out didn't look that good, yeah. mm-hmm. or they came out for a system I didn't own. Yeah. And I'm not going out to buy a system for an untested game. I did. I know, <laughs> and I won't do it. So Sorry. we're at this oh. point where I think we're all very protective with our money. Mm-hmm. So it's all proven. That's why we're having a Call of Duty every year. That's why we have the big, well, well hey, it's the next Call of Duty. Hey, it's a big Grand Theft Auto. I think everybody else is, again, maybe this is a, a, an economic thing, but we don't want to put 60 bucks on something we don't expect, you know? Uh, you guys all jumped on Bioshock. You guys all jumped on uh, Assassin's Creed, you know? WWE, yeah. I think, is even questionable. Um, and even stuff I'm finding on the phone, I keep looking. Again, I, I, I'm looking at the, the stuff that... Oh, you know what? I got one. I got one. Okay. And this actually could... I want to kind of rescind and maybe double this as my uh, mobile pick. And I don't know if it came out this year, but I have one I've been playing on my Android called Stealth Bastard Deluxe. There's Chachi. It's It'll come up. Dude. Um, but it's one of those kind of... It kind of reminds me of... If you ever played Splosion Man, how it's like... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a a puzzle room, solve this puzzle room kind of thing. Um, it's pretty fantastic. I picked it up on Humble Bundle. Um, again, I don't know how new it is, uh, but that's, that is the thing that I've been kind of addicted to, like whenever I do pick up my Android device and not playing Angry Birds, you know. Um, yeah, so, so I want to throw that out uh, for both categories if I could. Yeah, uh, we we also had some mobile picks from the chat. Um, Angry Birds Star Wars Two from Mad Mike. And... <laughs> I think it was doubled in there. Yeah, yeah, it was doubled by Texas Anarchy too. I, I oh, oh no, Te- Texas Anarchy said Angry Bride Star Wars Two. So I, you know, I so, put a lot of time into totally that game, but game. I didn't, I didn't. Totally I mean, different. it was just another one. You know, it's great, but it's another one. Um, mm-hmm. So I didn't think it would qualify. I like as far as that goes. Um, my pick for best new IP, I, I went with, um, I know a game that you guys were looking at but didn't get to play it because you don't have PS3. Um, it's The Last of Us. Mm-hmm. Great game. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it, I think it's going to be around for a long time, the franchise. I think they're going to continue it. 
on the PS4 probably. We'll Will see, I be a part it may of that? Be a I don't great know. Game, <laughs> huh? But I said it may be a great game. Mm -hmm. But, but for you're not going to punk, punk down the for money myself for the PS3. and for Riz, that's a three hundred and sixty dollar game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I don't care tire. how good a game is. It's not it, unless it, I have to. I have to amend that to say unless it has other benefits uh, mm -hmm. like because for me uh call of duty modern warfare 3 was a 300 hundred dollar game yeah because i didn't have an, a 360 when i bought it but on the plus side all of you guys did so it was more than just buying the system just for the game, game man also, I put, and, and this is why I'm really excited about the new consoles because that means PlayStation 3 is coming down. I was looking at it. You can pick up, I think it's a 12 gigabyte uh, version at Walmart. I saw for 100 or 200 dollars. I think mm -hmm. for 250, you got a 250 gig model that came with uh, that game. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if they were marked right or, or not. So, so, so this is the time if you do want to say, hey, here's all that stuff Bobby's been telling us about the last few mm -hmm. years. You know, you're looking at the discount bins. It's ten bucks for Mass Effect Three at Walmart. Ten bucks. Now those great games are, are low. Yeah, this is the time <laughs> that we paid sixty dollars for. To clean up on that stuff. If you're just like, okay, what have I been missing? I'm not going to buy a new console for a year. Let's buy the other one. Uh, you know, now that it's maybe in your price range. And grab up a couple of those things. I, I think yeah. that's great. There was a collection. Even there was a twenty dollars collection that included Uncharted, Uncharted, Uncharted one and two, for instance. Yeah, I um, had that. You, you're starting seeing a lot of those packs come out, uh, mm. so you can catch up, uh, and and that's a great thing. And I think it's exactly like you know this category we're telling ours because we don't all have the same consoles. Where this is not a site where we do have access to everything like that, of course. So. I had an honorable mention for new IP too. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Nino Cooney which was also for the PS3. Um, really, really innovative. Uh, not, not really. Well, it, it used uh, Studio Ghibli did it, and it was really like a really cool um, new RPG. So I just want to give a shout out to that. Okay. Um, now it's time for our games of the year, guys. Of the um, year. Who wants to go first? Chachi, you go first. Um, it's a toss-up for me. Okay. Um, GTA V uh, wins because of the in-depthness of the game. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it it's so huge, and after so long of not having a, a Grand Theft Auto game, it was everything that we were waiting for. Mm -hmm. So in in part. I, I, I give part of it to Grand Theft Auto V. Okay. Um, it was it was one of the first games this year that I sat down and had to beat immediately. <laughs> but on the other hand, um, Assassin's Creed IV, mm -hmm. because it it's not very often that you get a sequel that is everything the sequel needs to be. Okay. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4 took everything from the previous games that were good and approved upon them. And uh, I... According to Raptor, there was points where I put in 10 plus hours a day playing it. <laughs> so, I, uh, it, it's a tie for me. Uh, those two games. Um... And Call of Duty Ghost doesn't even get an honorable mention. Mm -mm. Um, the story, lo story mode alone is not game of the year. No. Uh, uh, contention, sorry. Uh, <laughs> well, before like we go hours, on, right? though, uh, before we go on, though, I have to address something that was brought up in on Twitter. Okay. Um, Mad Mike was angry because... <laughs> Mad Mike was angry. Um, I know what you're going to talk about. Uh, Lego, uh, Lego Marvel wasn't on the list. Mm. I have to flat out tell you that in no universe is a Lego <laughs> game 
unless we're going back five years and talking about the original Lego Batman so we're or talking best mm-hmm. kids game of the year. Yeah, and no, not even that. Not even that. Unless we go Tom's back. The tank engine mod for Skyrim is the game of the year for kids. <laughs> no, if we go back, it then you could put up a Lego game of the year for like the original Lego Star Wars or whatever the first Lego themed game they did of this generation. Lego, Lego Harry Potter, maybe? Right. But because... Lego Footloose. Uh, uh, Lego Marvel is just a rehash <laughs> of all the other games that they've done with different sprites. Mm. Yeah. So it, it, it's nowhere that. That, in... And, and I picked, like, the most popular games that were on... I mean, it, it was it was good, but it wasn't, like, the games... It wasn't up with the games that I listed on there. I only had I only picked six because I didn't want there to be too many on there. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we'll get we'll get to the fans' vote here, coming up. Um. Sorg, what's your pick for game of the year? Well, this is gonna be really tough because uh, well, even as far as the games that you selected, I played one of them. <laughs> uh. So uh, and I can't I, I I agree. Ghost doesn't live up even to last year's or the year before's Call of Duty. Uh. So I know I know if I jumped in Assassin's Creed or Grand Theft Auto, I would be probably picking one of those, just from what I can tell about those games. Um, I, I can say, so I'll divert a little bit and say the best game I played this year is Max Payne 3 from last year, actually. Uh, so it was just the best experience I had all year playing games. Uh, and it was only 10 bucks on like the summer sales. Uh, and that was, that was actually the game that I probably poured the most um, um, effort into. Um, still not beaten, very close to the end, uh, and just haven't had. It's one of those you're at a frustrating spot, and you're like I'll come back to it in a couple months and be able to beat it. That's what I did. Grand Theft Auto, and that's fine. And 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 I and, and Bobby should not get the slack for that kind of stuff. You yeah, know? I pro- I'm even worse with stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, but... I sometimes I come to games two years later. I finally, I think I finally beat Bioshock One this year. Um, Sword. Yeah. The difference is how many new games did you buy this year? Yeah, um, for the, brand new games. Brand new games. If you want to say I brought it, it came out this year. It was Call of Duty Ghosts. That's it. That is the game that the game that I bought. I now I'm a very patient person. I talked about how I'm waiting for the PlayStation stuff. I bought, I what? But I did buy Max Payne Three. I bought um, uh, Bullet Storm, uh, Perfect Dark Zero. I bought a bunch of hum, humble bundle stuff, including that game that I you know told you guys about. Uh, I'm just not on the I buy a new sixty dollar game level like uh, like you guys are for the big ones. And again, that's that's why we give Bobby slack. Mm-hmm. Sorg is patient because Bobby. I'm not. Yeah, Bobby. How many new games did you buy this year? Too many because how I many needed them for the twenty five hour thing. No, no. How many <laughs> new games did you buy this year? I don't even know. Exactly. I don't how know. many did yeah. you beat? Uh, a couple. That's from I have trouble getting these games, so I know. Well, if I'm gonna buy a game, it has to be five bucks. Then I don't feel yeah. bad when I don't get to it. Um, and I have True. a lot of those going on. So that's so. that's why we give Bobby slack. We don't give Bobby slack because he doesn't beat games. We but give I Bobby beat slack it. because he goes ho- he goes out, he buys all these new games, and some of them stay in the plastic wrap <laughs> and, and spends more of his time. I playing. still have not opened Halo 4 yet. Exactly. Hey, how much do you want for the Halo 4? Because I'm kind of exactly. due. I want to play it soon. That, that's <laughs> why we give Bobby a hard time. Bobby, move to Pittsburgh so I can play Halo 4 with you. Move okay. to Pittsburgh. <laughs> All right. Um, Riz, what would you, you pick for Game of the Year? Oh, I, I hate Chachi. <laughs> why? He took your pick. You took everything I was about to say. <laughs> Oh no! Everything. It's true. There is, there is. Well, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna have. I knew you guys were gonna have the same games. The, this is why our show is different because we're real gamers mm-hmm. that can't afford all the games. So. No, 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 no. We, 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 we played, played them given to us. stuff given to us. Yeah. yeah, I've played all the games except for one, and that's because uh, Bobby has a PlayStation Three. But yeah. um, I had included those. It was a popular game. It was. Neck and neck. Grand Theft Auto Five and Assassin's Creed Four were the best games of the year. 
And if you have to put a gun in my, against my head, um, as of right now, <laughs> December twelfth okay. to December tenth, two thousand thirteen, finger gun. I'd have to say um, Assassin's Creed Four. Wow. Because if, of if the you put stuff a gun to my head, do in that vast space, mm-hmm. the sh- the ships that you can blow up, the side missions, the uh, the harpoon activities, and everything being all in one Tired connective of your harpoon group. activities. Yes, all in that connective group of sharing and showing that you have this, and then doing stuff like upgrading your ship, upgrading yourself, getting cl- getting more awesome gear. It there's it it slightly edges it out. Edges out GTA 5. Now, cool. is that am I basing it off of the online play of GTA 5 to the to the uh, mass overworld of you know AC4? Maybe, uh, but still, either way, you have a great game if you pick one of those two. Now, for like, like uh, again, like uh, Chachi said. Um, there's no way Black Ops, or not Black Ops, uh, Ghost. Ghost, it comes anywhere close to those two games. Yeah. Um, my third, and I forgot to mention this on my IP, Battle Block Theater. Oh, yeah. Well, you, you were I, into that game this year. I was really into that game. And I'm still into that game. <laughs> it's it a very good time bucks. waster. And, and the... Uh, Everything that comes with it, the story <laughs> mode, if you go through the story, you're going to, like, enjoy how they tell that story with puppets. Um, and just the gameplay, overall gameplay is awesome. And I don't want to get off on another uh, tangent about, you know... Assassin's uh, Creed 4 again. <laughs> Assassin's Creed 4 credits, but <laughs> um, just... It, it, it was a great year. Yeah, I agree was. with uh, Alexander Cars in the chat room. What do you say? Uh, if you put a gun to my head, I'll probably just tell you to pull the trigger just to troll you. Last words, <laughs> you mad bro? <laughs> and DJ Lunchbox says, I will shoot you. Let's talk about video games. Tell me your preferences in response to this gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, I'm going to I'm going to say mine now. Um, my favorite game of the year. Um, I had it was a toss up again with me. Um, I I really like Grand Theft Auto V this year, but it wasn't my game of the year necessarily. Um, I've never played a game, not since Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, that I was so involved in the story, um, and and the gameplay was really fun. Um, my choice was Bioshock Infinite. Mm. Um, I had never had a game that made me go out and buy artwork, action figures like. I mean, I was so into this game. It was my favorite game of the year. I beat it pretty quick, relatively quickly, yeah, guys. I, I got to give Bobby credit. He beat Bioshock Infinite before I beat Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. I, I was into it. And, and, and it's a fun game. Um, the gameplay wasn't the greatest, but it was fun. It was engaging. It was – it was and, and the DLC's out. I have to go play that. Um I can't wait to jump back into that story. That's what I'm going to be playing next since I beat Grand Theft Auto V. Um, but, yeah, that, that's my pick for Game of the Year. Um, on our list for the fan of Game of the Year, we had a choice of a few games. Uh, those were The Last of Us for PS3, Grand Theft Auto V, Bioshock Infinite, Call of Duty Ghosts, Assassin's Creed Four, and Injustice Gods Among Us. And the winner is – oh, it's a tie. Damn it. <laughs> no, no. Grand Theft Auto that's all right. Code game of the year. Grand Theft Auto V and Assassin's Creed Four, both As tied with be. five votes apiece. As it should be. So, And now, uh, Call of Duty had three votes. Injustice had three votes. And Bioshock Infinite had one vote. I'm surprised. And The Last of Us didn't get any votes because nobody has PS3. I'm surprised most people voted for uh, Injustice. I know. I, I, that I one was in the lead at one point. <laughs> it was a Which, great game. It was. It, it, but it 
it doesn't. It was kind yeah, of the one it, I threw it, on there, yeah, just for to see how it would do. It's just a fighting game, though, and I. Yeah. But I it was a good fighting game. Bored. So what? It, it was a good fighting game. Yeah, it was a great fighting game. Yeah. But it was a fighting game. Yeah. And it fighting had the games best like story. And I'm sorry to say, fighting games like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, they get boring after doing the same thing over and over again. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we're going to move into our, our, our boss battle uh, since it's our last show of the year. Um, and it's around Christmas time. We have kind of a dual boss battle here. What is your favorite Christmas memory is the first part. So, Chachi, what's your favorite Christmas memory as far as gaming goes? Uh, like Super what, Nintendo. What games you got? Super Nintendo. Nice. Uh, my dad... <laughs> uh, my dad's always been a video game fan uh, up until um, Nintendo 64. Uh, and he uh, waited in line to get us the... Super Nintendo with the Mario All Stars uh, nice. game, the night it came out, and the the smartass that he was, he uh, gave us the empty box <laughs> for Christmas <laughs> because he already had it hooked up and hidden from us because he wanted to play it too. <laughs> cool. Sorg, do you have any Christmas memories? No. You don't? What? No. I, oh, I, I'm, 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 I'm seeing if Matt remembers anything, but I, I, any big video game like gift, I remember being my birthday. I remember getting yeah. Mario 2 and 3 for my birthday. I remember getting video games for my birthday. Matt got his N64 for his birthday. Like, that's... I cannot remember for the life of me getting video games on Christmas. Um, I remember getting toys. Really awesome. I can give you plenty of those memories, but no, video games were never uh, a big thing for us. Uh, well, <laughs> no, they were a big thing for us. Uh, but no, <laughs> but, but um, no, I can't remember like Christmas in particular it being a big thing. So I got socks. Yeah, I, I got socks and underwear too. Socks. <laughs> Yeah. There's but, nothing wrong with socks. But in relation, my our mother was very mean in uh, putting the uh, the video games in a pack of socks or in a box that's obviously too big for a <laughs> video game, um, and also hit our Easter baskets in the dryer. <laughs> wow, nice. this explains a lot now that I think about it. That, I, that, 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 that's really else. dark, there, Sorg. Is that the origin of laundry time? Wow. <laughs> Uh, Alright, Riz, what, do you have any Christmas memories? Um, the one I remember is me and my were brother... You the, were you the N64 kid? Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bye. That was exactly where I was going, Bobby. <laughs> I've, it, it was the N64... I was the N64 kid at, for Christmas. <laughs> oh, somebody's home. Oh. And it was... It, the the fact that it said it was for both me and my brother and we just tore it apart together was probably the, the funnest moment as a child cool um my christmas memory um Bobby. i remember coming home and having like a, a bunch of like games for christmas um Astyanix, dick tracy mag max for the nes um, I just remember playing those like all day Christmas Day. Man, too fun. bad they weren't good ones. Well, I, I mean, it was what, what, what we could get, you know. <laughs> so it was. Oh, that's a, that's... Mag Max was awesome. So was Astyanix. So. I think Casino <laughs> Kid was one of them too. Whoa, we got some weird audio with Riz. <laughs> Are you a demon now? A demon race. All right, and our our second part of our boss battle. Do you guys have any predictions for next year as far as video games go? I got one. Okay. Halo. <clears throat> you sound like they you're in a cave. Out, they will come out with a Mass Effect 4. Okay. It will be one of the best-selling games. Okay. It won't be good. Oh, no. 
and, and, and it pains me to say that, but it won't be good. I don't know why it's not going to be good. Maybe it's because Shepard's not in there. Maybe it's because they don't really focus on that story. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's going to be... I'm going to still play it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to write it for... Write a review for... Uh, for Insert Point to Begin. And I hope I'm wrong. Bioware, I hope I'm wrong. But I just don't see how they can continue a story without Shepard. And that was Riz coming to you live from a wind tunnel. Your face <laughs> is coming from a wind tunnel. <laughs> All right, Chachi, you have any predictions for next year? I don't have any predictions. Um, I do have a wish. Okay. And I, I don't know if you saw my Twitter discussion the other day, but I, I figured out that if a good company were to sit down and really think about it, uh, such as, like, Blizzard, someone could make a really sweet Hunger Games MMO. Oh, yeah. That would be amazing. Like, a really sweet... and the 16 only problem on 16 is, battles? Or 16 players? What's that? 16 players? 24. 24? Two from each district, which oh, is... Oh, that's right, yeah. I, Just, okay, I, yeah, I, yeah, I've yeah. already... I, I've already thought this through. Like, you can do things, you can go through districts and whatnot, and uh, do other side activities, but at the same time, um, your name, every time you do something, your name gets entered in the drawing, and that's where the cost comes in, because you would have to have lots of servers, because yeah. in order to stay true, you would have to stick to 24 per server. And it, you could you could even throw it to the point where other players are messing around with the arena. Oh, yeah. Just to screw like with that. you and, 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 like, utterly destroy people. But, it, and then, like, I, I figured out the leveling system. Or not the level, leveling system so much, but the difficulty system. Like, if, if you're from District 1, it's, like, really, really easy. And then you can play through, and as you go up a district, it gets increasingly difficult. They have something then, like that. Like the mini games would be like, uh, like they are in the original Hunger Games movies, where you're in front of the uh, the people, and you have to impress them in order to get sponsors. And the better you do in the game, the better you, sponsors you get in the battle. But uh, that's my wish, and it. Quite frankly, I don't care if we get it or not, because I'm I'm not allowed to play MMOs anymore. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Um, it would be neat though. It would be, and it would be a, uh, it would be a rather high selling game. Hmm. Sir, do you have any predictions? Um, I, this is more maybe this is more tech uh, based too, but I think well, I don't think the Steam box as I've wished and predicted in past oh, no. episodes uh, I, I don't think it's going to like take over an Xbox or anything like that but I think uh, some of the more foundational things they're doing with Steam um, they're now part of the Linux Alliance if they do a big enough push and it becomes um, um, you know uh, the newest uh, uh, I don't know Call of Duty or whatever is now compatible with Linux like right, right off the bat um, they've already done this I think for Mac gaming you see more versions of Mac games quicker, um, more universally. Uh, but I think they're going to uh, raise Linux as an option, if not even with at least what Mac is doing. But probably even further since they're really behind it for the OS itself. Um, technically, there's a lot of really interesting stuff there happening on that whole PC gaming side. This doesn't affect the Xbox, this doesn't affect PlayStation, but it's own, its own kind of ecosystem, and I think that's really exciting to see what's going there. Um, uh, Microsoft is kicking themselves in the balls as far as a lot of this stuff goes right now, um, and I think Steam's going to be right there to kind of... They're, they're striking hot. They're striking hot right, right at this, right when this is... People are confused about what this Windows 8 does. They're, they're, I think you have your hardcore gamers and all the casuals are... Are, all the casuals are scattering to so many other computers and devices and options 
Uh, it's ridiculous. Is it Sega? Um, and then Sega comes out with the Sega box. And... <laughs> And only plays old Genesis yeah, games. Yeah. Plays, hey, there's already that. Of, you already have that for twenty nine ninety nine at Walmart. Actually, yeah. kind of want one of those. Uh, so there's that. I, so that's where I'm coming from with that. That's a better prediction than I think I had for Awesome Cast. Cool. All right. Um, my prediction. Um, I think that Kingdoms of Amalur is going to rise from the dead, and I think somebody's going to pick up the IP and, and run with it. Um, I think. I think it'll be purchased by somebody. I don't know who it's going to be, but. Um, it, it was a really good game when I played of it. Um, I think it can be a viable franchise for years to come, but it just was unfortunate what happened to the studio that just got like wrapped up in bankruptcy and then they had to close, but mm-hmm. that IP, I guess is still available. Cool. Um, and I, if I get an Xbox one, I think my game of the year next year is going to be Dragon Age, uh, Inquisition. I'm just right. putting that out there. So I'm excited for that do we game. We want to do future games. What's that? Do we want to do future games. No, that's future okay. game of the year. Since you just started it. Well, I'm, that, that was my prediction, but um, that's that's actually we're almost out of time, so almost. we're gonna wrap it up here. Wow, Thanks everybody for listening to us this year. Um, that was our show, and uh, you can follow us on Insert Coin uh, TV uh, on Twitter. Um, there'll be new articles going up. Um, on the break on intercointobegin.com and uh, for everybody game over happy holidays yeah we were running on time a little bit yeah